Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of Dank Web Browsing, episode number 122, ladies and gentlemen, the side of the internet that is a little too dank for regular viewing. We come across it today, as always, you might be wondering, Muda, is there some themes? Well, nope. We're going to see some random shit today, ladies and gentlemen. So, throw all the shit aside from your desk, sit back down, grab some potato chips or something good to snack on, a nice little beer drink, and, uh... Let's end off this Sunday with some dank web browsing. All right, so this one is uh, 2013. This is an older uh, meme, but still a meme. Now, I almost feel like I've shown this to some people because of this fucking generic ass background. We are doing the Lord's work. Now, I got 2.4 million people saved, almost 2.5. I, I beg to question the validity. If that's just page hits, don't consider everyone that comes pretty saved. All right, so uh, that's kind of pushing it. Now, they got up to 2016 in December after that. They just said, fuck saving people. The world is going to hell. But Halo, the game for sinners. Now, they got a, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's Halo Spartan Assault. It's like an iPhone game. Uh, it's like the top-down shooter or whatever. Uh, Dear Christians, I'm warning you about a game called Halo that is a slap on the face to true Christians and a favorite for heathens. Well, you heard that. If you play Halo, ladies and gentlemen, you just you just hate God. All right, you sickos. You you colluding with Satan right now? Is that what I'm expecting, dude? You sickos. You fucks. Colluding colluding with the Dark Prince. I see. <laughs> like all other rubbish from the secular media, this is <laughs> definitely an unholy abomination. Just like the Zelda games, the Halo series was made to offend Christians and help transform our God-loving kids into God-hating heathens. The games were made from the Japanese Empire that has failed to take over America during World War II. Holy shit, dude. Fucking all you... Uh, dude, if there's any Japanese viewer of some ordinary gamers out there, I'm gonna tell you right now, this site thinks that you're a godless heathen. Let me know what you think, dude. Holy shit, nanny. But... Uh, <laughs> God damn. Pokemon, which are the tools of the devil in preaching evolution. Oh, God, because cause that hasn't been fucking proven already. Cartoon pornography and other satanic trash to our children. Okay, cartoon pornography I can sort of get down with, you know. They, uh, the, th those, guys, those guys have been pushing out some of that hentai. They are succeeding in this battle just as Isoroku Yamamoto envisioned during World War II. And they even encourage... The children to play these games in Sunday school. Yeah, because, you know, Pokemon has best experience during church services. <laughs> yeah, dude. Please read on so you can learn how the devil likes to deceive people, just like he tried to tempt Jesus into sin. The game takes place in a fictional world where there is a conflict between humanity and aliens. You are in space, and you play as an astronaut. <laughs> oh, oh, God, dude. Oh. Holy fuck, man. It's it's like, Jesus. It's like there's this bullshit that just hit me and I, I just have this allergy to it. <laughs> With the task of saving the world. <laughs> Sounds fun, right? Don't let Satan try to make you savor this filth from the pits of hell. You are better off reading the Bible instead of playing this sinful filth. Dude, this has to be a parody, dude. The way it's written. Jesus Christ. Have you seen, you know, the Bungie's new game, Destiny? That's even more sinful. It promotes resurrections and all that crap. You know what I mean? You, you, look at those godless heathens. They have robotic godless heathens, too. Voiced by fucking Nathan Fillion, dude. God bless his voice in video games. You were better off reading the Bible. The story is about aliens declaring a barbaric religious crusade on humans. Oh my god, I really hope they fucking throw in, like... Uh, the aliens cause a jihad against <laughs> That would be crazy. The aliens form a group called the Covenant, which is stolen from the biblical covenant for Christianity. No, no, dude, dude, Covenant's used by a lot, whatever. But even worse is the fact that the aliens are used to portray Christians. Oh, please. I can't wait till they'll tell me how the Shanghili are supposed to be fucking Christians for some reason. Dude, do you realize the alien faction, even in, like, okay, rant, rant time right now, mini rant time in the middle of Deep Web. If you just, like, fucking take a cursory glance, the most elite faction, the elites of Halo, you know, the, the fucking... The, the, the Shanghili, they're, they're actually representative of the Japanese, the same people who you are saying are converting your kids. What the fuck, dude? And wait, if I'm not mistaken, Halo is a God-blessed American game made on Jesus' blessed earth. What are you talking about? Why didn't the gamers rightfully base them off the barbaric Muslims that want to attack America? Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Holy shit. 
It's like there is no fucking peace here. Oh my lord. <laughs> it's not even like, oh shit, we're all religious. So this leaves get against like it's not even like religious versus it's like just straight up fucking savage. Alright, what is this? It only gets worth. Is this alien based off Pope Benedict? Yo, actually, to be fair, that is a pretty fucking raunchy similarity. I won't lie, I won't lie. The covenants are let by higher-ranking aliens called prophets. That's a very common word, dude. And they are depicted in clothing that resembles the clothing from the sinful and perverted child. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Well, it seems like I've definitely narrowed down that Catholicism is not their fucking dead in him for Christianity. The games also train the players to target Christians. Look at the games allowing the players to target the aliens, a.k.a. Christian. Okay, how does that work? You have a gun pointing at fucking the elite, the enemy? And that's a... You got this lovely wiki how thing going on on the side? Do you notice how the release of these games has coincided with the rise in school shootings? Oh, shit. That's right, you heathen gamers. Ever since the games were released, massacres such as Columbine and a roaring shooters, shootings followed. And you sinful ga- yeah, because I'm pretty sure all those shooters were like, yeah, let's use Halo as a training mechanism. What are you going to tell me? That ISIS uses Halo as a VR mechanic for training their soldiers? Are you fucking retarded? <laughs> who demanded for these games made this happen just like the other godless heathens who wanted to take America away from Jesus and made 9-11 happen. Oh, oh God. You've got to be kidding me, dude. This is great. I love it. It's oh, my God. No, no. All right, let, it's getting even spicier. It looks like the makers are all supporting evolution, and we all know the evolution is just a fairy tale like Santa Claus. The game also used to promote homosexuality. Okay, well, you got a bunch of people putting pride things around a warthog, and yeah, that definitely screams that Halo is just for. Okay, you've got, you've got, you've got this dude teabagging. Right, that's it's pretty. That's guy. That guy's pretty muscular, dude. I'm gonna want, wouldn't mind seeing more than that. That's like what the fuck is? That's like that's like some fucking dude in his waifu. It's like this guy with a cardboard cutout of Chief, dude. That's. <laughs> what the fuck? There are also ungodly cutscenes that allow the player to watch. These are not cutscenes, you morons. These are gameplay stills. At no point in the actual Halo storyline does Chief fuck a Spartan in the ass. And I don't even know how, Elite. Why do you care about homosexuality with the leads? Maybe that's how they get off. Look at that, dude. He's like getting cucked. This is like, this is Halo cuck porn, dude. Halo cuck oldery. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, we're going to have to censor this one. They got some Cortana shit, dude. Holy crap. That's not even gay. What are you talking about? This is what Halo should actually be about. Halo, holy combat, dude. I fucking love it, dude. This site has to be a joke. I love it. Everything from the media is full of anti-Christian themes, and Satan has his eyes over America, as I am writing this article. The game is a kind of rubbish that has caused people to believe in evolution. Christian kids being bullied in school, teenage sexuality, homosexuality, just being... What if I told you all those things existed for, like, thousands of fucking years, dude? No Christ, no Christmas, only... Okay, now we're going to, like... Martin Baker, you fucking lovely bastard. He also has things like The Legend of Zelda is also Satan's playground. But you know what? I'm going to leave this for the next video. If you want to see more about uh, this lovely Christian uh, reviewing of our video games, let me know. I will definitely cover this website in next week's Dank Web Browsing. For now, let me go somewhere else where godless heathens are permitted, I guess. The Bloodshed Diary. Oh, that's fucking exciting. Thank you for visiting this diary. I'm a Japanese college student. My, oh, don't. Dude, we've read some dirty things about the Japanese converting Christian youth, apparently, dude. This diary is writing my thinking and with my doubts. My English is not very good. Yeah, it's understandable. You're not from English. It's, it's okay. You know? So updating of English pages will be delayed, but I will definitely... It's actually really nice that they put it in English. So I, I mean, like, I can read. I'm very thankful for that because sometimes, you know... Like, I, I never never judge anybody for their English. Like, I can always tell, like, where they're from, usually. But anyways, let's go into this. So, August 4th to April 24th, you got this diary entry. All right, let's read it and see what their diary is all about. I wonder how much class I dropped. Today, I quarreled with my father on the phone. I quarreled conversation for about three hours on the phone. Stop such a foolish thing anymore, my father repeatedly told me. It is already late now. I cannot back. It is not such a sweet... This college has no whereabouts of me anymore. Everything is for power. Power resolves everything. There are mock examinations soon. I want to get results here. Then there will be no one who can complain to me. But nothing to worry about. I moved firmly. Oh, shit, dude. Are we witnessing the tale of somebody who just left their conservative family behind for greener pastures? 
This is exciting, dude. July 29th. Let's see. Let's 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 see how far it goes. That was actually this actually start from nothing to be honest. That was like the end. So July 29th, you lost yesterday and today as well. Lost 40,000 yen in gambling today. Poor, dude, that's that's no small amount, my boy. That's that's a that's a fair bit of money. Parental remittance and the scholarship has also run out. There are only 13,000 yen if gathered. I am saying how to live in the future. You are garbage to say the least. Oh my god. This dude's going through fucking Oh, this is some depressing shit, man. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's go further back in time. 4th of July in Japan. I am the limit. I may not be a human being, but I cannot hear people's story. I cannot talk with people. I'm sorry. I cannot communicate. The conversation is an exam. I feel pressure. I avoid conversation. I am a rude person. My friend invited me to play yesterday. I refused it. I refused for a lie reason. As opposed to a truth reason, I guess. I, I did 2CH at home. I'm so sorry. I'm really foolish. It's just an escape. Oh, man. This person's withdrawing, dude. I've... Dude, I'm kind of scared now why it hasn't been updated past August 4. Like, this better not be some fucking suicide notes that I'm reading. Jesus Christ. Good evening. I was able to attend the university. I was called to the teacher. She was not mad. The lesson was no problem. Accept the reality. Do not turn away from the reality. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> okay. Accept reality. What is this, the Matrix? So, lecture one, English, math, human being, unknown. Spent time watching 2CH. What is that, second channel? What, what's the Japanese, what's the Japan second channel all about, dude? Better be the most exciting shit in the world. Better better be like, better be like breaking, breaking bad or something in Japan, dude. Long time no see. How are you? Please see June 7, June 13 articles first. Okay, yeah, sure, I'll lead it. I'm sorry, I've not gone to university, can't go. Okay, you just flip-flop between going. Go to fucking university, dude. In my university, depending on the unit, there are things called medium-term testing. Yeah, it's every university, dude. Um, to test game back, chemical 1 got 8 to 28. Oh, shit. Basic physics, 45 to 100. English, 30 to 76. Basic math, 49 to 100. Ooh, goddamn. <laughs> god damn it that's fucked up dude they went to gambling oh shit oh shit this guy has a gambling problem dude jesus christ not been to college for five days yo i feel like i've come across fucking suicide tales right now this is gross this is actually really fucking scary 28th, I got the qualification of saying it password for the exam fee is 5,000 yen. The Japanese bone, the exhibit in the castle. Okay, I did not do a student disguise. Hey, let me see what's at the set out. Sex, man, age 18, profession, college, student, living place, Japan. Yeah. Everyone will see this page will think so. I have a reason. I have a bad habit to tell people about all the things I think. The person I like, the person I dislike, embarrassing things. You may think I can do on Twitter or Facebook, but I am afraid a friend is no to this. The biggest problem, I will lie. I guess there are people who think that I can write a diary offline now, but I have to tell it to human. This had it is caused by my desire to be self-manifested. Here I'm not need to afraid a friend to know. Oh my God. Okay, guys, I'm actually really fucking scared because the last update was August 4th. And going by the trend, there should have been at least, at least one other post in August. It is currently almost November. We have not received one post. I really hope this guy has not, like, died or anything. Because, like, all this is, this is, like, depressing. It almost feels like I've come across some dude's suicide note. So, for this guy, hey, man, God bless. Hopefully college is going great. We have to... Cause life is in defeat. Jesus. You know what? Let's all have a little fucking... Let's all have a... Let's all have a good boy prayer time, you know what I mean? Like even if you're not religious or whatever, let's just let's just all hope. Let's just let's just let's just give our heart out to this guy. Obviously he's having a rough time and uh shit, I hope things get better for him, dude, because I want to see some more fucking updates. I am definitely bookmarking this site down cuz I want to see where this guy is a while later.
Oh boy, Wild Man's Complete Guide to Assassinations. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you ever wanted to commit assassinations in the world? Well, today I got a file for you, ladies and gentlemen. Let's come, let's see how to do actual uh, in-game assassinations, real-life assassinations. Uh, okay, which is like main distress, blah, 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 blah. Thank you for interrupting. Basic rules. Like freaking or hacking, there are some basic rules you must obey and understand to be an effective assassin. Listening to these will make the difference between you getting the chair. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that murder is a capital crime? At least here in the US of A. Yeah, dude, it is. Statistically, your chance of getting away with a murder in a place like New York are actually very good. Brainwashing TV shows would have you believe otherwise, however. Most people get arrested when they kill some bitch for screwing around on them. How stupid can you be? Just dump the damn horror. <laughs> Jesus. Everybody does not have the physique needed to become an assassin or even a decent fighter. I am of the style where it takes direct physical threat to get me pissed off. I prefer more subtle techniques, like trashing the fuckhead's car, when, but sometimes when cornered, fight without mercy. The Ten Commandments of the Assassin. Oh. Oh god, the Ten Commandments. Let's read this. One, ye shall work alone, for ye will know thine mistakes and actions well. If ye has a partner, ye will be cast into eternal damnation. Oh, yeah, because opposed to regular assassination, you know, God, God's just all cool with that. Ye shall have the resolve of Moses, for thine dead people remain forever dead. Yeah, of course. Ye shall remain both faceless and nameless, but if thy police know of thy name, thy shall surely pay the price. Yeah, exactly. You don't want the cops to know. Ye shall have both Swiss bank account and Swiss passport, for thine must have a retreat. Thine quick escape from thy crime scene. <laughs> from thy scene of thy crime is of a holy importance. Yeah, man. You can also just go to, like, fucking Russia or Japan or something. They don't have extradition, dude. Ye shall study thy victim for four score and twenty nights. For thy victim's weaknesses and habits are thy strengths. But yeah. Ye shall plan well, for mistakes and forgetfulness will cast thee into thine abyss for all eternity. Ye shall worship the night and all that is black, for the night is all encompassing and embracing, and shall hide thee well from thy adversaries. Ye shall tell no one of thine actions, inducing thine priest, for thine priest shall tell, tell thine f. Wait, what? Are, aren't the priests not allowed to tell you confessions to the feds and shit? Ye shall be physically fit in excellent form. Ye shall know thine martial arts, and thee shall worship, and thee shall worship thine Kevlar. Thine tools are thine life, and no expense shall be spared. Thee shall read this daily and live by this code, as though thine very life on this mud ball depends on it, and for in fact it indeed does and shall. That said, I hope you enjoy what you're doing. Okay, so we got the Ten Commandments, all right? Pretty simple shit. You know, worship Kevlar, don't tell your name out, and be, be an intelligent fuck. Snipers are the most glorified in Hollywood movies, and their descriptions are fairly accurate. The only problem is that you must be a very good marksman, and you need about $6,000 worth of rifle equipment. A modified 3006 is the sniper's choice, with modified fluid-filled silicone-tipped bullets and a Starlight second-generation scope. And was, uh, was that about bullets? Well, if you take a normal hollow-tip rifle bullet and enlarge the hole, so about 25% of the hole filled with water and seal with silicone... When that bullet hits its target, as long as the target is of flesh, human, animal, and of wa or a watermelon for testing, it will explode like a goddamn pipe bomb. Targets, typically a bullet either through the heart or through the head, will kill someone with great speed. A word of caution, if you use a shock-sensitive explosive, be very careful as it may explode on ignition from the extreme G-forces, which you don't want. Another note is to make sure the high, uh, aerodynamics of the bullets are not fucked up by your modifications. Some degree of testing is required, or use commercial-grade fluid ammo. Highly illegal. Tracer rounds, while illegal in most states, are very, very effective. Fragmentation bullets of all types are a sniper's best friend. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Positioning is easy. 800 yards is typical range for your scope. Best time is at night. Make sure to use a damper on your barrel so there won't be a muzzle flash. And don't fire more than one burst of under one to three seconds. Two shots, rapid fire. Exactly. Okay. If you fire twice, you will be easily pinpointed and isolated. Squeeze the trigger. Watch the brains fly. Ice tea. Lethal injections are the most efficient way to kill someone. The only problem is you have to be there. This can be done with a tranquilizer gun for a combination of sniper tactics. However, you leave behind valuable evidence which can and will be used to trace you. Air injected into the vein or artery will kill someone in a matter of minutes, giving them a stroke or severely disable. Oh, God. Is a subtopic of lethal poisoning is very cheap, effective, but very messy and painful. All right, accidents. Staging an accident gives you the best way of killing someone without getting away with it. It's not effective, however, and sometimes will not result in the desired effect. 
This, however, becomes one of the best means for your subjects into drugs or alcohol, and other people know this. Knocking them, knocking someone out using a heavyweight or blackjack, drugs can be traced, and then boozing them up and driving them off a cliff is usually quite effective. You must be careful not to be seen, else you'll be arrested. Yeah, of course. That, that's how it works. All right? you, you, you don't want to be caught by the cops. All right, then you got hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Oh, shit. Things may turn messy, and for this season... <coughs> I suggest you know martial art well and know how to use a handgun, knife, any one of the numerous oriental weapons. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now you know it's a fucking joke. And have a personal arsenal, sorry, RS now, for you to fall back on should it become necessary. Chucks are very effective and intimidating weapons. Indeedy. However, only use them if you are very, very, very good with them because the last thing you need is to give a potential enemy a weapon. Spray painting them jet black gives you a real advantage in a snipe attack, as does swinging a steel ball the size of a tennis ball. Oh, yeah, dude. You know, like, some pe you know, like, those really expensive fucking watches and shit, like a Rolex or whatever, like, the weight on them? Dude, you can put that shit into a sock or wind it up and knock the fuck out of it. You, like, give somebody a brain hemorrhage with that shit, dude. Hell yeah. All right, anyways, what's here? Uh, I highly recommend you fight with army boots on, steel-toed. These fuckers are deadly weapons, believe me. I made the mistake of not planting my foot in a guy's face quickly enough in a schoolroom disagreement, and I got a very heavy army boot to the lower forearm. And ooh boy, did it hurt, so kick him in the temple. Yeah, I'll kill him. Nate, Nasian, Filtrum, hook to jaw, Adam. Oh! Ah! Oh, I felt that, dude. Oh, fuck, dude, that's worse than your testes. God, fuck that. That's gross. Knife warfare? <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, uh, apparently that's about, like, all it is, man. So we learned about knife warfare and shit. Uh, it, well, not really. Let's read into it. Why not? We have time. Something you should never be without is a good knife, preferably one that looks intimidating. If idiot looks a knife, he no looking at army boot. Crack? Ha! <laughs> Hold your knife neither high nor low. Balance on the balls of your feet. One of the things to note that in a knife fight, you're going to get cut. Accept it. The objective is to cut the other guy more. I only have uh, been in one real knife fight in my life, and I got some good scars. More things to ID me with, Fetties. Ha! Learn to use a knife in either hands, and practice using two at once. Watch your target's eyes to, uh, to see where they are looking. Remember, those army boots are deadly weapons too. Attacking. You have two real choices here. Wait for him to attack, block or evade, preferred, and then counter or attack first. Best use a combo. Oh yeah, most people that carry a knife have no idea how to use one. Put on a real psycho look, laugh under breath, and attack without mercy. Yeah, it's psychologically fuck with them. This dude... <laughs> Is this fucking John Wick writing this shit, dude? I feel like in a movie he's quiet, but when he's writing an assassination guy, he's like, yeah, yeah, M make sure to use steel-toed boots, uh, sniper rifle of this caliber, uh, use a, use a Desert Eagle .50 Action Express, shoot that through their engine, they won't be going anywhere, dude, and then, and then just put one into their head, you're, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's it, dude. Attacking. All right, he's got me. Knives are effective because you can only really block a knife blade twice. One shot slot to either arm, and then you're dead. Unless you carry a Glock 50. Ha! The best block is no block. A lunging downward blow with the knife will stick it through a 2x4. And do a good job on the shoulder. Real good job. Unfortunately, it leaves you open big time. When you score a hit, maximize your opportunity. Rip the fucker out. Doing as much damage as possible freaks the shit out of the target. Because they will be very focused on the fact you are a whacked out psycho. Oh yeah, dude. One of the techniques is pretty very effective is react within a millisecond of a threat. Someone gonna mug you? You have a molded grip lock blade out in under three seconds. Drop in one and a half, lunge in one and a half, retreat in two seconds to regroup. Fast action is the key. Yeah, choice of knife. Avoid switch blades. They suck. Same for stiletto daggers. Lock blades are very effective. Also, I always have a throwing dagger strapped to the inside of my leg just in case. I suggest that you do too. Why not just have a Glock, you know? Like an ankle strap or something? Like, uh, you know, just pull that out and fucking end the dude's life. Which brings me to other notes. Odds. There are no way you can handle odds greater than 2 to 1 or 3 to 1. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's savage. It's fucking savage. All right. Well, anyways, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave this. Apparently, he's got a uh, he's got a cellular one four zero one private. It's just hit net. If you really talk to me, get a fucking life. Stop hanging around with crazy people. Like my main man Ice T says. You know what? We just learned how to commit 
murder, capital offenses, assassination, follow the creed, and don't, don't this is modern day Assassin's Creed stuff, dude, let's, let's back out, <coughs> and it's something, oh god, the Adam's apple, <coughs> god, let's back out of that, gross, oh my god, ice cream, now here we got a free net vlog, ladies and gentlemen, this one looks pretty damn cool, it's alive, I returned to flip a couple of weeks ago, notice that it is quite alive, even if there's like 10 persons there at the moment, a free note bridge is available on uh, hashtag a free note bridge, hashtag flip bridges on, br okay, yeah, these are just, these are like IRC mentions. The GSOC guy behind this test for finally two days and what are you talking about? Flipping, dude? What is this? Legit. Oh, man. You know, whenever you read legit anywhere, you know it ain't. You just the furthest fucking thing from legit. Success? Need cash? Try flip today and make over <laughs> not even a million a month. Just straight 999999 Well, you can make over, but the minimum amount is just a dollar under a million. A dolan under a million, sorry. It just started as a hobby, but after a few weeks, I started eating money at breakfast. Thanks, Flip. Yo, Flip, that's going to cause you some fucking... It's going to give you some problems. Amanda went, was going Scrooge McDuck and her fucking money, dude. Let me tell you. When I heard Flip was built by the NASA, I gave it a try. I since quitted my job to become a full-time flipper. Flip was a solution to all my problems. Okay. Ghost Node, the mystery of the dude from Thailand. What a, what a jump. I'm very amused by that stuff. What happens to a free node running on a remote box if the owner dies? That's a good movie plot. Yeah, let me actually open that node up. So, or I forgot to update my contact page to include my new Watt key, and thus my new son. So, this is just some dude's Freenet blog. Interesting. Minor FMS pack. There's a bug in FMS. Uh, there was a... Oh, wait. Here we go. Are you the dude from Thailand? Description. Are you the... <laughs> update your Freenet installation, you fucking stinking freak. Oh, my God. This fucking dude's a savage. Just destroying their nodes. I am. I think I will. Over here, over the portals of my fort, I shall cut in the stone, which is to be my beacon and my banner, the word which will not die, should we all perish in battle, the word which can never die on this earth, for it is the heart of it, and the meaning and the glory, the sacred word, ego. I lost my freenet virginity back in the point five half. oh, that means like the point five version of freenet. And I remember it was a pain in the ass just to load a free site. Since then, the free net network got bigger and its core has changed. The evolution of technology can also directly be impacted, uh, how directly impact a free net's usability. As the average bandwidth growth over the years, for example, today we can just instant chat systems with a 30 to 60 second latency on flip. Yet there are so much people there. Maybe we have reached the limits of our identity and thus are the limits of pseudo-anonymity. Instant messaging is dangerous because you can compromise yourself in a few words, so single-use identities would be convenient. On the other hand, what would be the point of using a different nick each time we go there? That would break the inherent social nature of IRC. Sure, let's talk about Freenet and stuff, but when it comes to common real internet life, IRC chit-chat, things can get complicated. The idea of social networks on Freenet is not new, as we could easily define WOT on the FMS trust system, or even the Frost trust system of social networks, but Sown is a social network aiming at a very different goal. Yeah, that's, that's a, one of the social networks I actually showed you guys. Rise of social exchanges, Freenet prophecy one day, someone, a man obviously, <laughs> Wow, dude, this is the sexist day I've ever been on the dank web. Jesus, we'll come to a beautiful final and we'll say to the free knight, you shall not fear social exposure. The chosen one will then teach us to be happy and stuff. That's right, after all. I do not download or share PTH. What is, did I just find a deep web religion or something? Were you trying to find a prophet that will teach you to be happy and stuff? <laughs> Sounds like some bullshit to me, but let's go further. FMS, oh, so these are just basic stuff here. The bird is in the nest, RP. Freenet, serious business. This is like some kid pics level art, dude. Freenet is still awesome. For more than a year, this vlog wasn't updated, yet it loads perfectly fine. Index engines and dangerously anonymous people did their job fetching and spreading the few hundred kilobytes of data your browser is rendering now. Fascinating, isn't it? So what's new out there? As seen in the articles on the Seeker's Flog, as always, Herb, the legendary French Furu, that's a word I just made up for the Freenet Guru, is still around, cursing newbies on FMS and taking care of his trust list. Oh my god, it's like going into like a really classic, I mean, I'm telling you, it's like going into the most classic vintage fucking AOL chat boards back in the day, dude. I remember when I was a kid looking at that shit, it was, 
It was life. Fucking clocks, how do they work? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Tracy is wrong. She's an example to show that Tracy is wrong. She's a... Boy! Boy! That's not me saying it. That's this poster, dude. Jesus Christ. Fucking savage, man. Holy... I can't wait to find a Freenet Tumblr and see just how fucking triggered anybody gets. Christ, dude. I'm telling you, Chetton, I don't know who this guy is. But man, you are one you are one savage of an individual. He's got a bunch of links up over here, which we'll check out next week. But for now, let's set up something else. Are you telling me I've been linked back to anti-ALF? I feel like I've shown this to a lot of people, not really. I mean, I've shown you guys, like, the eco-defense ALF stuff, but apparently I've seen a whole other site that's just about arson. So, I mean, I figured if we look at fucking Hitman, we might as well just look at arsonists, too. You know, be be very... Very, very clean, and we'll look at everything, right? Anyways, so, let's look at this. Your guide for putting the heat on animal abusers anywhere. Well, I don't like animal abusers, so let's see how this works. Hello, boys and girls. Auntie ALF here. I wonder if ISIS also has, like, an uncle and auntie, you know, jihad master out there, dude, or, like, you know, something something equivalent for any terrorist faction. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, er, this is this is the Earth Earthling, Earthling Alliance <laughs> uncle and aunt. With a handy-dandy booklet for all you know. Not necessarily, dude, do you ever wonder if, like, PETA and all that shit, like, these terrorist groups that are all, like, you know, like, all the all these terrorists, you get, like, laughed out at TerrorCon? I almost feel like that's a thing, dude. Anyways, not necessarily to encourage anyone to go out setting fires of your own, something that could get you in quite a bit of trouble, but to help us gain a better understanding of some of the devices used in incendiary attacks carried out by the Animal Liberation Front. Arson is not always used by the ALF in the course of an action, but when it is, it can be devastatingly effective. Millions of dollars in damages have been caused against fur feed companies, slaughterhouses, department stores, and fur shops, fast food restaurants, and transport trucks belonging to animal abuse industries. When incendiaries are used in an action, the activists must make sure absolutely that no animals, human or otherwise, will be inadvertently injured or killed. ALF activists make sure that all buildings and vehicles are free of creatures before lighting a single match. You see, it's like the most like it's 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 like it's like the most nicest terrorist ever. It's like we don't want to hurt people. We just want to blow your buildings up, dude. Shit, <laughs> fucking hell, dude. All right. Anyways, a good incendiaries can be. Oh, are you gonna teach me how to make stuff? So they got definitions real quick. All right, they've got delay mechanism, fuse igniter, thermate, also thermite, an incendiary mixture of iron oxide flakes and aluminum powders that reacts chemically when initiated to form molten iron. Thermite can be used to burn holes in steel or to weld steel parts together, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it can, dude. It makes a pretty big fucking hole, if anything. Tools and techniques. Preventing a fire hazard. Of what, what are you, fucking Smokey the Bear of arson attacks, dude? Chill out. God damn, we know. All right? <laughs> Christ. Potassium chlorate and sugar igniter. Chlorate sugar is one of the best of the first fire ignite mixes. It burns very rapidly, uses a yellow-white flame, and generates sufficient heat to ignite all homemade incendiaries mentioned in this book. So that's the igniter you want to use. Flake aluminum sulfide igniter. That's extremely hot. That's probably useful for the whole thermite shit. Homemade black powder igniter. Igniting napalm. Bro. That's fucked up, dude. Napalm the sticky shit? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Homemade napalm. Okay, let's see how you made homemade napalm, ladies and gentlemen. So materials. You need, uh, you need soap powder or chips. Bar soap can be easily shaved or chipped. Detergents can't be used. Any of the following liquid hydrocarbon fuels, gasoline, fuel oil, diesel oil, kerosene, turpentine, benzol, and, or benzene. Tetol or tua, tul, tuluen. A double boiler made from any material with the upper pot having a capacity of at least two quarts. A spoon or stick for stirring. A source of heat such as stove or hot plate. A knife or grater if only bar soap is available. An airtight container. Oh, dude, that's fucking gross. Jesus Christ. That's nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> incendiary brick. The incendiary is composed of potassium chlorate, sulfur, sugar, iron filings, and wax. And it looks like an ordinary building brick and can be easily transported without detection. The incendiary brick will ignite wooden walls, floors, and many other combustible objects and can be hidden amongst building supplies at construction sites. The incendiary can be directly ignited by all igniters listed previously, coupled with a cigarette delay or similar mechanism. Oh, yeah, cigarette delay is that you light it on fire and it slowly burns out. Ah, 
That's intelligent, dude. Application. When painted an incendiary brick, thermate incendiary. Yeah, it shows how to make thermite, dude. Metal powder oxidizing agent cover the tight lid. If fake aluminum. Oh, no. Christ, man. They're telling you how to make fucking thermite charges. Do not leave evidence. Always wear gloves when in contact with any of the materials making up this device. Do not leave anything behind the scene. Tops of bottles, boxes for transport. Never forget to bring a sharp knife with you to cut the bottles. Always check to see if there are people or animals in the area. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We just learned how to make a fucking thermite charge. And incendiary bricks. And fucking napalm. Don't, I do not condone any of this. Don't ever do it. All right, this is fucking terrorism, plain and simple. We do not promote this. That being said, we, we need to go to something else. <laughs> Jesus. Hello, guys and gals. Me, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to that dank web video of the week. Oh, we got a 40 second video over here with uh, ever lovely blessed uh, filters from, from Sony Vegas. Let's hit play and see what this uh, dank shit is about, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, let's, see, let's see what this shit's going on with. Ah. I see ah, that smile dog. I see it's edgy as fuck. What is this? Spanish, yes. <laughs> Okay, all right. You know what? All 120, uh, how many episodes so far? Let me see this. All 121 episodes beforehand. Anything that I said was edgy content. I want to make a formal apology. You were not as edgy as I once had thought, ladies and gentlemen. It seems as if <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, but I think we just witnessed an introduction to something that I didn't fucking expect, ladies and gentlemen. Let's let's rewatch that shit again. So, first things first, you got these lovely set of uh, pictures. You know these clown. That's that's the it clown, isn't it? Like from the new movie and shit. Uh, as you go further into it, you got another clown that's edgy and scary. Yeah, totally spooky. You've got uh, two clowns, a lady looking at you right there. I'm trying to con – I mean this is in like fucking 144p, dude, so I, I really can't do much. You've got two more clowns. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, is that like that Baba Duke thing from that fucking Netflix movie or once? Oh, I was so hammered watching that. You've got smile.jpg. All right, remember that smile dot creepypasta, ladies and gentlemen? Hold on, let me let me let me let me find it. Let me let me let me in fact bring it out for you. Smile.jpg. Ooh. Oh boy. You remember uh, you remember that Jeff the Killer shit? You know what I mean? Well, well, it seems like Jeff the Killer exists uh, in entirely, ladies and gentlemen. There is no joke about it. It seems that the uh, creepypasta community has definitely invaded the Dankweb community, and bam, you've got some spooky, spooky fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Now, going into it further, you've got more pictures, but then you come out with this individual who uh, wear, wears, a, wears this lovely $5 mask... That, which we've all seen before and by the way you push that shit over the candle dude how you're that's don't burn yourself dude you're trying to make an edgy video he speaks in spanish and i can't obviously translate spanish i don't speak spanish i speak uh, other languages i don't speak spanish i honestly feel like i have come across an introduction to some deep web series that i hope to find more of Maybe this is a message. Maybe this is a uh, maybe this is a cartel spooky attack that's going to hit us. Maybe, maybe this is some Spanish uh, YouTuber, you know, from 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 some from some way, shape, or form, trying to spook the fuck out of us. Probably posted it on like some random Nico Nico block shit and got away with it. But for now, we're going to back out. If you know, if you are the person that has made this video, because I'm pretty sure this person is out there, let me know. <laughs> Please get in touch. My God. This had to be the most interest, interesting fucking shit I might have come across. Like, look at it. It's just, 
it's it's like it's like I don't know what he says. He's got like the it's got like the interesting music in the background. And then he's like lighting his like he's actually moving that mask up. Like the thing is like is it burning the fucking skin? Like what's going on? This is some edgy shit, dude. But eventually it just it just sort of ends. He like fades back out of here. It's, done. it's not even like a compilation of shit. It's like literally Google image creepypasta images, put them together with a Vegas filter, and then just talk over really creepy. And I don't know what he's saying or something. He could be just basically saying, You found the video, go fuck yourself. I might have to play this through a, through a friend or something. But for now, <laughs> If anybody wants to translate what he just said in the comment section below, by all means, go for it. This is me, Mudahar, and uh, we're, we're going we're gonna to back out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was another episode of Dank Web Browsing, Deep Web Browsing, Dark Web Browsing, episode number 122. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike if you dislike it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We honestly have seen some really, 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 really interesting shit today. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> We've seen the sinners about Halo. We've seen uh, how to make thermite charges in the assassination guidelines. A very um, sexist vlog, if anything, and quite possibly the most edgiest video I've seen in all 122 episodes so far. Nothing comes close. I don't know. I feel to God I've seen some fucking YouTube intro or some shit like that. But the usage of five or six creepypasta imagery has definitely sent me into spook. So I'm going to go eviscerate my bowels. Let me know what you thought of this video. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.